Hey bosses, it's Nina. So I'm setting up a webinar for um, my Pick Monkey beginners course. Um, if you want to register, I'll leave the link below. But I wanted to show you how to integrate Webinar Jam with Active Campaign. It's actually really easy, but I haven't done it in a while. So I thought I'd show you all. If you don't have Webinar Jam or don't have Active Campaign, I'll leave a link below. Both have free trials. Um, Webinar Jam, I also have a special that you can use it for, I think it's 60 days for only a dollar. But let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, first I of course set up my Webinar Jam. If you haven't done this, go ahead and click the link below. I also have a video on how to set it up. But once you start creating your new webinar, you go through each of these steps. And when you get to the integrations, you'll see email autoresponder integration. So it's not configured. I'm going to go ahead and click on the pencil. And then I am going to scroll down until I see active campaign and I'll click on configure. Now, once you do this at the bottom, it's going to ask you for an API key and API URL. Don't ever, 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 ever give that to anyone unless they're working on your accounts and you trust them. It's kind of like a password. Okay, so I've logged into Active Campaign. I went down to settings in the lower left hand corner. And then here I go down to developer. That's where all of your items are going to be. And you'll notice that your URL is there as well as your key. So I'm just going to right click and copy. Okay, I copied and pasted both into my Active Campaign integration on Webinar Jam. I'll just go ahead and click on Connect. Now, before I go, and actually I should have done this first, you're going to want to pick a mailing list and things like that. So we'll go back and do that for now. I'll just go ahead and close this. Okay, so now I'm back in Active Campaign. I'm going to go ahead and create a list for my webinar. I have a naming convention, so I'm just going to call it webinar. Oops. Webinar Pick Monkey Intro Course. Oops. And your website, you just put in your own website or if you have a program, and then you remind people why they signed up. You can be quirky or funny, but I'm just going to say you signed up for my free webinar just to remind them if they look to see why they're on this list. Okay, so I have my list. I'm also going to add some tags. Um, I want to know who stayed through the end, who um, dropped off early, so I can actually send them specific email automations a little bit later. So I'm going to actually go to contacts. Now, you don't have to do this. I'm a little, I go in depth with all of these, but I'm just going to click on manage tags. You could actually skip this step if you don't really track all of this in your um, automation process. But I'm going to say webinar, pick monkey, attended, webinar, pick, oops, pick. Pick monkey stayed until the end. I just like those because I can give free gifts to those who stay to the end and those who didn't stay to the end but attended, I can actually um, send them an email to remind them about the replay but send them a separate email or custom rather. Okay, so I'm back here. Remember we're in webinar jam, right? We have our integration and it says zero rule set. This is where you can really kind of play around with this. I'm gonna click on edit. And I'll say if someone registers, so when they register, I'm going to go ahead and add to list. And we'll add to the webinar jam or webinar, which is going to be all the way at the bottom. And it may not have refreshed yet. So I am going to close this on my list. Okay, so I found my list. I'm going to go ahead and create that rule. Then you can add other rules, right? So I can say when they attend the live webinar, add a tag. And remember we have our tags. And again, I have a lot of these, so I'm gonna look for my, these are actually in order, which I like. Webinar, PicMonkey attended. 
and then I can add another tag. So when they stay till at least, we'll say one hour because I know that my webinars are about 90 minutes usually. So we'll say one hour and then we'll say add the tag webinar pick monkey stay to the end and i'll create that rule again this is just going to go to active campaign add these tags and then in active campaigns i can send automation so for instance if i'm sending out a free gift in this case it can automatically send the free gift to them without me doing anything i've used other um webinar tools i actually just use another one i'm not going to mention it because i do like it i just don't like it for webinars um, and a lot of this I had to do manually and I just do not like that. Okay. I do have an affiliate link. I'll have to find my link. Give me one second. Okay. And that's basically it. I can go through and add other integrations like Facebook and all of that, but I just want to show you how to integrate active campaign autoresponder and add a couple of extra bonus items. If you have any questions about webinar jam or about active campaign, let me know. I am committing to making three videos per week on my channel, so I do need more content. Let me know below what your specific questions are and I'll answer them. Make sure you use my links because it gives you special bonuses and I get a little tiny piece of whatever you purchase. Have a great day. Ciao. Also, if you have any other questions about setting up your webinar jam, you'll notice that I actually have some tutorials on how to set it up, how to co-host, and a lot of other videos on my channel. So if you have questions, go ahead and look at my channel. You could always search Socially Nina, and then whatever application that you're looking for, or just click the links that you see on your screen now.